Well, there's a lot of things going on, but one of my, I think the things I think about the most is something that I call and that we actually just officially uh, coined the term in the peer-reviewed literature last week, the expanding atmospheric sponge effect. Now imagine for a moment, just an ordinary kitchen sponge, and you can actually replicate this, uh, by the way, with actual uh, a sponge and then a comically oversized one. The larger sponge, of course, has a greater capacity to absorb water. If you spill a glass of water on the counter, the small sponge is probably adequate. If you spill a bucket of water, you're going to need your comically oversized sponge. If you then wring out the comically oversized saturated sponge over your sink, it's going to yield a lot more water than the small one. That's the analogy for why the atmosphere and its increased propensity to hold water vapor essentially uh, in a warming climate allows for, for example, more intense precipitation extremes, heavier downpour. So upping the ante, raising the ceiling on how intense precipitation can be. 